Dear Chief Acosta, June is unable to pay his loan from me because he has no work. I told him to sell one of his lands and use the proceeds to pay me. However, he claimed that all of his lands were already transferred to his estranged wife. I have a suspicion that he transferred his properties to his wife so that I cannot collect from him. Can I still run after the properties transferred by June to his wife? Hermin. Dear Hermine, June's alleged transfer of properties to his wife is a prohibited transaction. This is in consonance with Article 1490 of the new Civil Code of the Philippines, which provides that the husband and the wife cannot sell property to each other except 1. When the separation of property was agreed upon in the marriage settlements or 2. When there has been a judicial separation of property under Article 191. Article 87 of the Family Code of the Philippines also states that Every donation or grant of gratuitous advantage, direct or indirect, between the spouses during the marriage shall be void, except moderate gifts which the spouses may give each other on the occasion of any family rejoicing. The prohibition shall also apply to persons living together as husband and wife without a valid marriage. Clearly, the transfer of said properties from June to his wife during the marriage, whether by way of sale or donation, is prohibited. The Supreme Court explained the reason for such prohibition in the case of Perez versus Perez Senerpida, penned by Honorable Associate Justice Alfredo Benamin Kagiwa, as follows. The reason behind the prohibition is to protect third persons who may have contracted with a spouse, believing in the existence of certain properties, and who could easily be defrauded by removing such property by transfer to the other spouse. Going back to Article 87 of the Family Code, the reason for the prohibition is explained thus. This provision refers to donation inter vivos. It is dictated by the principle of unity of personality of the spouses during the marriage and is intended to avoid possible transfer of property from one spouse to the other due to passion or avarice. The intimate relations of the spouses during the marriage places the weaker spouse under the will of the stronger, whatever the sex, so that the former might be obliged, either by abuse of affection or by threats of violence, to transfer some properties to the latter. The law seeks to prevent such exploitation in marriages which might have been contracted under this stimulus of greed. The prohibition of this article also applies to the parties in what are called common law marriages. Otherwise, the condition of those who incurred guilt, whom turn out to be better than those in legal union. Applying the cited case to your situation, considering that the transfer of properties between June and his wife was prohibited, then it follows that June is still has an interest in the subject lands, either as a separate property or part of the common properties he shares with the spouse. In either case, you may go after the property by initiating an action in court and securing a levy or attachment on the property, following the pertinent provisions of the rules of court. In case the property is part of the common properties of June and his wife, you must also prove that the proceeds of the loan benefited June's family because under Article 122 of the Family Code expressly states that The payment of personal debts contracted by the husband or the wife before or during the marriage shall not be charged to the conjugal properties partnership except in so far as they redounded to the benefit of the family. We hope that we were able to answer your queries. 
Please be reminded that this advice is based solely on the facts you have narrated and our appreciation of the same. Our opinion may vary when other facts are changed or elaborated. Tomorrow, we'll look into another question for viewers and readers of Dear Pau. This is your host, Dr. Presida B. Rueda Acosta, the Chief Public Attorney of the Republic of the Philippines. Goodbye for now!